Let me congratulate the Gambians for taking a historic decision, a decision to change the government, a decision that will affect the destiny and the future of this country. It's a very bold decision, and it's a decision that was taken in anticipation that the best will be done for this country. The Gambians have spoken, and, uh, and they have spoken without any ambiguity. So I congratulate them for that. And, uh, uh, obviously, uh, an era has ended, and a new era now begins. In this new era, there is a great deal of hope. In this new era, I mean, uh, there will be I mean, a lot of focus in fulfilling the wishes and aspirations of the Gambian people. What is important is that Gambia must remain as Gambia. The elections were contested on a partisan basis. But the results having been declared, we are all unified. The partisanship has been, as it were, deleted. So there is no longer any partisan uh, party matter as far as the results are concerned. And uh, please, that uh, Gambia has always been known for its peaceful nature. I mean, uh, post-election violence are uh, unknown to the Gambia. In fact, even pre-election violence are unknown to the Gambia, and so are post-election violence. What is important is that we have always considered ourselves as Gambians, and we will remain Gambians. There is no room for disunity. After all, that is why our national anthem carries that very important st statement that says, and and join our diverse people to prove man's brotherhood. That shows that we are one people with a common destiny. And uh, we must all realize that uh, it is our individual responsibilities as well as our collective responsibility to harness that unity to ensure that we remain united whatever our political differences are. Political differences are bound to happen, but it should certainly not override our national interest. The world should learn that uh, uh, when, the, when the citizens declare their verdict, that should be accepted. And uh, we've seen that happen here, and uh, certainly uh, this is the first time too that we're having I a mean, transition from one government and other. And uh, I'm looking forward to a very smooth transition.